in April 78, when we decided to sell my elder brother's export surplus garments, there was no place finalized. I remembered I was a student of St. George's Grammar School on Abbott Road. We used to have an assembly hall there. And I knew that there would be the summer vacations at that time. So I went to my ex-principal and I told him, can I use your assembly hall during the summer vacations? He said, we've never done it. So I said, never mind. I'll pay for it. The school will also have some funds and it will help me. So he was very good. He gave us that for two months. And the business really flourished. We did not have staff. So I told my students in the flying club, would you like to make some money at the side? Would you like to work part time selling, you know, latest fashions that are moving in the West? So they all agreed. So I had my sales staff ready with me the moment we started. And basically, my first job was when I was 15 years old, between my school and college. And that was as a counter salesman, earning 125 rupees a month at Lepakshi in Gun Foundry. That shop is there even today. So I was only 15 years old that time and it was fun and it really helped me learn how and what sales are and that is why I picked on my students. They came. We did very well for two months but then the school opened and we had to close shop. So. The option was send back whatever is left over to my brother back to Bombay or look for another place. So we were looking for a place. My cousin had a place opposite my Bobia school, but on the first floor. He said it's lying vacant from nine years. Why don't you try there? So we moved there and the sales dropped 90%. We were just doing 10% of our sales and we realized that whatever little money we had made in those two months, we would soon lose the whole thing. So what was the option? Close up and finish. We said, no, let us move one step ahead. Let us go in for advertising. We had never advertised. So in those days, Deccan Chronicle was literally the only English daily and for uh, if I'm not mistaken yeah. 2000 no you know no it was the only one for 2500 rupees they would give two front page ads 60 column centimeter ads and the third one would be free for the third day two plus one, two plus one for 2500 rupees so gathered up the funds and went in for advertising for the first time and very simple advertising what the cost of the garments that we were exporting and at what price we were offering it to our customers here the most expensive garment in our shop at that time was 20 rupees we were selling garments from 5 rupees to 20 rupees and the 20 rupees was a jacket 5 rupees, 7 rupees, men's shirts started from 7 rupees, boys' garments, girls' garments started from 5 rupees. So the maximum range was normally between 5 and 15 rupees. So that was the message we wanted to get across to the people of Hyderabad. And the response that advertisement gave was unbelievable. And from that day onwards, by the grace of God, we've never had to look back. 